Good morning, everyone. It is quarter to eight in the morning. I was up really early today, but so I thought of filming. I want to show you and share with you my favorite planners, which is the Filofax Maldens. I love these planners because they're very sturdy. I've had different planners before, all with Filofax, but so far these two planners are my most favorite planners because of the make and these are the Maldens. So I just want to review this for you in case you are considering getting yourself your own Filofax Malden. So let's try and uh, go ahead with this. I'm going to start with the Malden Fuchsia. I bought this Malden in 2019. So give or take it will be almost four years old. I just don't remember when I bought it. But this was my first planner that I featured in YouTube. So anyway, I'll start with this. As you can see, it's filled with pockets. And some people, they use these pockets to serve them well. I just decorate them really with the, the theme that I want for the planner. This is my macaroon planner. If you look at the pocket, you can actually put pens in here. So let me try and put this in, two of them. And you could close it with ease. And they're still good. You can still shut the planner. But I don't really want putting pens in here because I'm quite satisfied with the pen loop here. And I just put this colored pen to the side here. My pens are slender enough to fit. One thing you must note is the pen loop is not very flexible when it comes to bigger pens. But my pens are normally slender enough to fit in here. These ones can also fit. This is a Parker pen. This is a Kate Spade. So it, it still goes in there. Depends what kind of pens you use. You can still fit the slender ones in here. Although it's quite selective because some people, they like the bigger pens. So that is the pocket for you. The rings are silver, which I like. I prefer silver aesthetics. Gold's not so bad. It's just I'm more geared into the silver metals. Anyway, this one is the same. I just protect the planner from the rings so I put these things here that's why no marks on my planner because I just protect them with just a little laminated extra cut from my decor I just place it here then so I don't waste anything plus it protects my planners you could actually put a notepad in there and you could still store plenty here but I just choose to decorate everything. I just put my stickers here for dots. I've used them for and my old planning design. But now they're just that way. And for reinforcement, I use another one and for design. But at the same time, if I'm writing, I can just place this one in between the papers and just write. So that's how I use this. This is a very beautiful planner. You can actually stuff it with lots more. This is not very full. It's not very full. As you can see, if I stretch it over some more, you can still put a lot in there. So I have stuffed this planner before, but this isn't my main planner anymore. So that's why it's just thin. It's just mainly my financial planner so it's not so full but still I love it it is very sturdy and it's soft the leather is buffalo leather I love leather and I love the smell of leather especially when you first open it and I like the stitching here it tells you it's really good quality it goes around and if you look closely you have the file facts name right there it's etched right there so this is why I love the Malden 
Now, of course, I wanted this color. So, if you want purple or if you're like me who likes purples and pinks, but mainly purples, when I saw this, I fell in love with it. So, this is the iris shade. Iris shade. And true to itself, it is the same. Very sturdy. Very pretty. I only store some first class stamps here that is it i don't really use that it's just this side is for decorative purposes only for me but you can use it for anything to store your stickers or whatever you want that you can just get easily the only important thing i think i have here that i can use are the stickers which i have split into and the business cards and this is my Starbucks card. So, like I said, it's very sturdy. It's full. You can stuff it with a lot more things there. That was my son running down the stairs. <laughs> so, this one is also paired with my purple pen. This is a Parker pen. And they fit very nicely in the pen loops, okay? This is the same principle that I use for my Maldens. I just decorate these sides. I don't use anything here. Like I said, you can put a notepad there. And I just put my magnets there. You can use this as page flags. I just decorate my planner with this. And as always, I protect. That's why there are no marks from or dents from the rings. But see, this is the thicker Malden that I have and I can still close it no problem there's no effort to it so I'll show you what it says right here it says Philofax Malden personal organizer antique leather antique leather so if you are considering buying a Philofax Malden I would highly recommend it to you because I have used them, like I said, and uh, I have had no problems with the Maldens. Like I said in my earlier videos, I don't baby these planners. I put them in my bag just like that. Anytime when I, if I get a big bag, I use this one, and they are not overly protected. And still, they're still very good. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. But I would highly recommend, if you want a planner like the Maldens, highly recommend them to you because they are the most beautiful planners that I have worked with. I know I have tried some planners, but I see a lot of planners like Moterms, Aura Estelle, many travelers' notebooks. But for me, the, the Maldens are my most favorite planners and they are Philofax. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. This is Shirley Joss signing off for now. Thanks again. Bye.